Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you step by step how to build an LED Christmas tree or mega tree just like this one. We're going to see which lights to use, how to plug them together, the wiring, the controller and how to inject power to these lights. So please stay with me. Hi everyone, thank you for watching this video and for subscribing to my channel. So finally, we are ready to start building our mega tree. So these are the components that we're going to need. First of all, Falcon controller F16 V3, 1200 lights. This is the model WS2811, 24 strings we're going to need. An Ethernet cord, a Raspberry Pi, this device is going to be running our show, an FM transmitter because we're going to be transmitting the music uh, so people can listen to it from their cars and also I want to show you this plastic strip it already has the lights mounted also it has the pigtails soldered to both of their sides so we have all the components so let's get started This is the X-Lite software and we're going to be using the layout tab to design our tree. So we're going to click in this icon and then we're going to lay it down just like this. Now, knowing that we are going to be using 1200 lights and that our controller can only take 1024 lights per port, well, we're going to have to break it in half, meaning that we're going to be using two ports. Port number one is going to be controlling 600 lights and port number two is going to be controlling another 600 lights. Now we need to change uh, some parameters on this side because the software needs to know the design of our tree. So first of all we're going to tell the software that we're going to be using two strings, one to port number one and the other one to port number two. Each of those strings is going to be made up of 600 lights and each of these strings is going to have 12 strands. There we go. So now we have 12 strands in the front and 12 strands on the back. Now, this is a round tree, 360 degree tree. I went this way because my house is in a corner lot. So the tree can be viewed from any side. You can also go with 180 degree tree. This is half a tree. This design works well if your house is only facing to the front of the street and you can lay it down against the wall. But in my case, 360 degree tree. So from now on, all of this video is gonna be referring to a tree just like this. And everything we're gonna build is taking this design into account. These are the lights that we're going to be using in our project. The model is WS2811. And these lights are amazing. They can produce more than 16 million different colors. Inside, each of these lights has three LEDs. One red, one green, and one blue. So by combining uh, those three colors in different intensities, we can get any color that we want. Now, these are waterproof except for the connectors, we're going to have to replace them. Also, they come in a string of 50 lights. Our project is going to take 24 of these lights. Now, when it comes to power consumption, and don't quote me on, on this, but I think I'm very close, each of those LEDs inside consumes 0.02 watts. So all three together are 0.06 watts. That means that a hundred of these will be six watts, a thousand will be 60 watts. So that's how we're going to calculate how many power supplies we're going to need to power these slides. So we're ready to start. So let's see the next video. 
So these are non-waterproof connectors and we will need to replace them with pigtails, just like this one. So we're gonna cut just right here and then we're gonna solder them together. So here we have positive data and ground. Positive data and ground. And here we have the final product. Please note that this slide have a data port in and a data port out. So data is going to flow from this side to that side. Usually the female is the one that is taking the data in. So make sure that you solder a female pigtail on this side and a male pigtail on that side. Also, in the light itself, it will be marked DI for data in, and in some cases, it will have an error pointing to the side that is taking the data in. So make sure you plug them the right way. It, they will not work the other way around. You may even burn the lights. So be very, very careful the way you plug them. So now that we have solder, the pigtails to both sides of our string, the next step is to mount the lights on the plastic strip. Note that I'm leaving one empty hole in between the lights. There are two inches between each of these lights. So let's finish inserting the lights on the strip. There we go. Please note that I had left three holes on the top of the string. This is because all of the strings are going to meet on the top, so we need to leave enough space for all of them. And on the bottom, I'm only leaving one hole. This is the one that's going to be attached uh, to the floor. It is very important that you note the way you are installing the lights on the strips. Remember that these strings are connected in a serial way meaning that this is our strand number one. So the data flow is going to start from the bottom, it's going to go all the way to the top, and then it's going to flow to strand number two, starting on the top. So on the top, they're going to be plugging like this. So strand number two is going to be connected to strand number three on the bottom, and so on. So the data flow, remember, starts on the one, goes to the top, goes down on number two and then connects on the bottom to number three and then it goes up and so on and so on. So please note the order you're installing these lights on the strand. This one is going up, this one is going down. Okay, so now we have 
24 of these strings ready to be mounted. But before we do so, we need to make sure that they work. So let's test them and see if we build them the right way. Let's see the next video. Okay, so here we have 600 lights, 12 strands, 50 lights each strand. So let me give you a close-up of how this is connected. So here's where the, where the signal comes in with power, then it goes all the way to the top, connects to the second string, then it comes down, and then it goes up again, number three, connects to number four on the top, and then it comes down and such and such. Now notice that I have one input here for power and another at the end of the string. So this is how the strings are connected in a serial way. So now let me put um, the controller in demo. There we go. So this proves that all of our connections are okay. Signal is traveling up and down through all 12 strands. Now let me show you something. Um, right now I'm injecting at the end of the string. Let me put the camera down. And let me show you what happens when I take the energy out. So this is 12 volts coming from this power supply. So this is with power injection, no power. Power injection, no power. So this is how important it is that you have injection at certain points of our mega tree. And again, I have an extra one right in the center of these 12 strands because I'm going to inject energy in that one because I want to make sure that they glow as much as I can. Okay, so now we move outside. So let me show you what I did. First of all, I painted a circle in the place where I want the Christmas tree to be. From side to side, this circle measures 78 inches from side to side. And then I use metallic anchors and I space them approximately 10, 11 inches all around the circle. And that gave me exactly 24 strands. Now, at the center, what I use is an umbrella uh, base, and here's where I put the pole, and this is fantastic because I don't need anyone else help, and it will stand by itself without, you know, having issues that it will tip to one side. And I don't know if you can see on the top, uh, but there's where all the strands meet and you can see how they are connected to each other. Uh, I'm going to give you more detail on that uh, topper. Okay, so this is the tree topper. There's where all the connections are being made on the top. Let me show you the top. This is how all the strings end up on the top of this topper. That might not be the best thing to do, but what I did is I just used a piece of twisted wire and it worked real nice for me in case I need to remove them real quick. Some people use zip ties, but I like this way better.
And this is a detail of the bottom of our mega tree. Uh, you can see the pigtail, how it's connecting from one strand to the other one. And also what I use is this rubber band to give tension to all of our strands. And it works real nice. Okay, so our project is finished. The only thing left to do is to show you how to inject energy. So for that, we're gonna put a power supply at the bottom of our tree and that will connect at different points. So let's see that part. So here we have our power supplies. We have two of them, we're only gonna be using one. So from here, we're gonna connect a cable and then we're gonna inject 12 volts at different points of our mega tree. So here we have the controller and if you recall from our design video we decided that we're going to use two long string of 600 lights each. So one of the strings is going to be connected to port number one and the second string is going to be connected to port number two. And the connection is very simple. Here we have power, data and ground. The, we're skipping that one, that one because that is the clock and these lights do not have a clock. So again, positive data and ground. And we just plug in right into port number one. And we're going to do the same for port number two. And we are done. Our mega tree is ready. So the last thing I want to do is show you a small demo. And also, please stay tuned because in part number two, I'm going to show you how to use X lights to bring this mega tree to life. Thank you very much for watching. Christmas party hop A mistletoe hung where you can see If a couple tries to stop Rocking around the Christmas tree Let the Christmas spirit reign Later we'll have some pumpkin pie And we'll do some caroling You will get a sentimental feeling when you hear the voices singing, let's be jolly. Let the whole bows are falling. Rocking around the Christmas tree, have a happy holiday. Everyone dancing merrily in the new old fashioned way. A jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bell swing and jingle bell ring. The snow and blowing, it was a fun. The jingle have I had.